hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in Windows application how to insert bulk records from data grid view control using stored procedure and here we got the final output now before insert this grid view data let's check the table I'm executing the table again right now this table contains zero rows let's execute insert bulk records see here we got a message records inserted successfully let's execute and here we got the results and notice the data grid view data is inserted successfully into this EMP table and one more thing notice the last row is contains null values so to prevent this null values column let's close this switch to the coding part after the command type store procedure if the row object row dot is new row continue semicolon that's it and this if condition is helpful to prevent the null values into table so let's check again start I'm inserting the same data here insert records got a message records inserted successfully let's execute so this time there is no null rows in this EMP table. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part, first we'll create a new table and stored procedure in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. I'm expanding the root folder, the databases I'm expanding. Sample DB is my user database. I want to create a new table in this database right click the sample db new query create table emp the table name is emp name vaca 50 email vaca 250 salary instead just for the video tutorial, I'm creating a very simple table. Execute. And here we got a message command completed successfully. Let's check the table is created or not in this sample DB database. I'm expanding the database as well as I'm expanding the tables. And notice here the EMP table. Let's browse the table, right click that one, select top thousand rows. And we got the results of this table. Right now, this table contains zero rows. Now my aim is I want to insert the bulk records from data grid view control using store procedure. Now my next step is let's create a store procedure in the same sample db database. I'm minimizing the tables folder, the programmability, I'm expanding that one, the store procedures, right click that one, new store procedure, and here we got the default store procedure code. I'm deleting the procedure name and adding EMPSP is a stored procedure name and the parameters add the column name we have EMP name varcar50 the second one is the email varcar250 the last column is the salary which is the integer type after adding the parameters now the select statement the definition I am using the insert statement insert into the table name is dbo.emp copy that one and paste in here the column names emp name email and salary values at EMP name 
at email at salary execute and got a message command completed successfully let's check in this stored procedures folder this emp stored procedure is created or not see here we got the emp sp is created now let's open visual studio for this video tutorial i'm creating a new windows application go to file new project and from the windows template i'm selecting windows forms application and the dotnet framework i'm using 4.6.1 the application name is bulk insert data grid view store procedure click ok and the project is created successfully and notice in the form on design page let me expand this design page now in this form on design page i'm adding two controls one is the data grid view control and the second one is the button control let's add the controls toolbox data grid view control go to toolbox again button control press F4 I'm changing the button label to insert bulk records after that I'm adding one more control which is label to display the message the records are inserted successfully or not so when go to toolbox come to the bottom here is the label press F4 I'm deleting the default label 1 text from the label control that's it up to now we have just finished the designing part now the next step will add some data into this data grid view control from code behind right click the mouse go to view code now in this code behind in the public form 1 I'm adding data table dt is equals to new data table dt dot I'm adding columns dot add range in this add range method I'm adding the how many columns are required in the table in the data grid view control new data column in the array I'm specifying three because in our table we have three columns let's close with semicolon let's add the table headers new data column the first column name is the EMP name, comma. The second one is the data type. The data type is varcals, so it's a string type. Type of string, comma. Let's copy these ones. The second column name is email is a heading which is a string and the salary is integer type salary integer type I don't require this comma here after that we'll add some data dt dot rows property dot add the first one is a charan comma the second column is an email is charan at gmail.com and the third one is a salary I'm adding 15,000 semicolon let's copy this one I have added six records the one is Jack we are the salary is something one zero three zero 
So now I want to bind this data table into data grid view control. Data grid view one dot data source is equals to dd. I'm adding the data table object. Before insert these records into EMP table, first we'll check the output. And this data is binded to this data grid view control or not. Start. And here we got the output of that code. And notice the data table is binded to this data grid view control. Now the last final step. I want to insert all this data into EMP table. So let's close this output. Switch to the design mode. Double click the button control. And here we got the button click event. Now the first thing, I'm adding the namespaces using system.data dot SQL client the next namespace I'm adding using system dot configuration after adding these two namespaces in Windows application by default the system dot configuration is not added into our project references folder notice there is no any system dot configuration namespace DLL library we have to add manually so let's add the system dot configuration namespace into this references folder right click the references add reference in the assemblies framework come to the bottom and here we got the system dot configuration select the checkbox click ok and notice the system dot configuration is added after that now i want to add the data source the connection string in this app.config file go to server explorer right click the data connections add connection I'm adding a SQL server name after adding server name I'm selecting the database name our sam our database name is a sample DB test connection it succeeded ok ok And here the sample db dot db bar is added under data connections. Now we need the data source of the sample db. Right click the sample db dot db bar, go to properties. In the properties, under connection, there is a connection string which contains the data source. Copy that one. Open solution explorer. App dot config file. Open that one. I'm adding the configuration connection string inside this configuration. Connection strings. Add name is equals to my connection connection string. I'm adding the data source which I have copied. Provide a name system dot data dot SQL client. So after adding the connection string, again switch back to the coding part. Come to the bottom in the button click event. I'm adding for each loop data grid view row row in data grid view one dot rows property now in this for each loop I am adding the connection string variables string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding the connection string name which is my connection copy this one paste here dot connection string sql connection sql con is equals to new sql connection i'm adding main con object after that sql command sql com is equals to new sql command the sql command takes two parameters the first one is a command text here the command text i'm adding the stored procedure name between double quotes the store procedure name is EMPSP copy this one paste here comma and the second parameter is the connection object which is SQL com SQL com dot command type 
the command type is a store procedure. Now let's insert the values SQL com dot parameters dot add with the value. We're doing double quotes. The first one I'm adding these variables EMP name, these ones EMP name, comma. Here the object value row. So I'm adding the rows from the data view control. So row dot cells zero, the first column dot value double question mark db null dot value. Semicolon. Let's copy this one, paste here, paste here. We have three columns in this table. So the second one is the email. Email. The cell value is one. The last one is a salary. This is two. So let's open and close the connection string. Open method. SQLcon dot close method. Inside this open and close SQL con command object dot execute non coding method. Now the final step once the records are inserted successfully into EMP table, I want to display the message. For that we have you we have added the label one control dot text is equals to records inserted successfully that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results start and here we got the final output now before insert this grid view data let's check the table I'm executing the table again right now this table contains zero rows Let's execute. Insert bulk records. See here we got a message records inserted successfully. Let's execute. And here we got the results. And notice the data grid view data is inserted successfully into this EMP table. And one more thing, notice the last row is contains null values. So to prevent these null values column. Let's close this, switch to the coding part. After the command type store procedure, if the row object row dot is new row continue semicolon. That's it. And this if condition is helpful to prevent the null values into table. So let's check again start. I'm inserting the same data here. Insert records. Got a message records inserted successfully. Let's execute. So this time there is no null rows in this EMP table. That's it.